Hey everybody, it's Dustin here from TryNaturalHealing.com. Today, I actually put a post up on the blog about juicing for beginners. It's exciting because when I first got started juicing, it was very intimidating. Uh, one of the recipes that I put up that we use quite often, I'm going to actually show you right now. Uh, we use our Omega Juicer. It's actually the 8006 series. Um, it's a little bit older, but they do have the same series, just a newer model on their website now. Um, this juicer right here has worked really well for us for several years, and we're expecting to get 10, 15, 20 good years out of it. Uh, it gets all the juice out of uh, all of the fruits and vegetables. The pulp is usually really dry, and uh, your yield is a lot higher than you would get uh, from your high RPM blender or juicers. Um, this is a low RPM. It's actually going to send it through the chute here and grind it up. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what we're making today. We have a full stock of celery. We have about five medium-sized carrots. We have a whole lemon here cut up for the juicer. And then, of course, ginger. I always recommend a thumb-sized ginger, but I always go with a little bit extra just because ginger is so good for you. Anti-inflammatory properties, anti-cancer. And then, of course, we're going to get a decent amount of kale here, which is actually the highest nutrient dense per calorie food that there is on the planet. Look at, check out Dr. Furman. Dr. Joel Furman talks about that in his book, Eat to Live. Um, so let's get this thing started. So basically whenever I'm juicing the celery and stuff like that, you put one stalk in at a time. It's not really complicated. And actually, I almost forgot one of my tricks. Lose nutrients from the enzymes heating up from the friction. I'm gonna put a little ice cube there in the tray. That actually makes the juice come out nice and cold. So it's really delicious that way. Now that I'm done juicing everything, I wanna show you. I actually had to dump, had to dump this twice. So you get two full containers of pulp. And then from all that produce there, Sometimes the pulp gets stuck at the top, so you may have to move it around a little bit to get it down into your container. This happens whenever you use things like celery and kale because of the a lot of the pulp in the food. Now that we got our, our nice delicious juice, Put into some cups here for everyone to have. Mm. Ah, so refreshing. So I always want to show this because you got to clean this stuff here. You're going to dump this, clean this, but the, the taking it apart is actually really easy. It's a little piece you turn there. You literally just pull that out. This whole side is separate. This entire thing will be stored with the wire. This part comes apart really easy. I'm gonna do it here even though I'm gonna have to clean up extra, but it comes apart into several pieces. Really easy to clean. We'll take all this to the dishwasher, clean it, wipe the table down, we have a juice, and it didn't take more than five, 10 minutes to prepare. Enjoy your juice. 